cut out transitions in DaVinci Resolve. Hey guys, today I'll walk you through how to make this super popular cutout transitions using my free plugin called Shapes. Most of this can be done right in the edit page and I'll show you how to use Magic Mask and Fusion to make it look even more awesome. If you want to follow along, just download the free plugin from the link below. Let's jump in. Here are the clips I used in the preview, ready for editing. I also added markers on the audio beats so I can clearly see where to place the transitions. So the first transition starts with the second clip. Open Effects Browser, go to Effects, Shapes, drop Color Corrector Effect first, and then drag the circle preset. Let's make a little flash in the beginning of the clip. Change brightness value to around 0.6, create a keyframe, go 5 frames forward and set it to 0. Now step on the next marker and set brightness to 0.6 again. Go 6 frames forward and set it to 0. And repeat it one more time. So we got three flashes synced right to the beat of the audio track. Ok, now make two cuts at two beats. Select first part of the clip and make this circle bigger. Select second part of the clip and make this circle bigger than the previous one. And delete circle preset from the third clip. And now we have these nice jump cuts with circle and flashes. Let me drag this up so we have more space here. Ok, now let's animate the next clip. Open Effects Browser, apply Color Corrector effect to our clip, and this time I will drag the preset called Cuts. I'm going to duplicate this clip 5 times and trim left edges of the clips to match the audio beats. Cool. Select first clip and disable all shapes except the cut number 1. Select the second clip and disable every cut shape except the second one. And do the same for the remaining clips. Let's add the same flashes as we did before. Select first clip. Set brightness value to 0.6. Step on the frame right before the next beat and set it to 0. And repeat this step for the remaining three clips. Let me extend this clip. Open Effects Browser and apply Color Corrector effect and add the same flashes as we did before. Let's see what we have. Looks cool. Now I'm going to apply a magic mask to the next clip. Duplicate this clip twice. Trim them to the beat. Select first clip and go to Fusion page. Select media in one node, shift space and apply magic mask. Mask out your first subject and hit track. Select media in one node and add a color corrector node to add a flash. Hover the playhead to the first frame, set brightness to 0.4, go 5 frames forward and set it to 0. Now repeat the same steps for the second part of the clip. Select media in one node and add a color corrector node, set brightness to 0.4, go 5 frames forward and set it to 0. Now add a color corrector effect to the third clip and animate brightness. Let's see what we have. Not bad. I'm going to speed up the rest of the clips. But you get the idea how to add shapes presets, create flashes with the color corrector effect, and mask out subjects or objects using the magic mask. And in the end we have something like this. Hey. 
looks nice, but I want to add some juice to make it look even cooler by adding some of my free effects that you can also download from my store. Let's apply flash effect to the first clip. You can disable the zoom and lower the geometry factor if you want. I'm also gonna apply flash effect to the second clip, which will give it a pulsating effect. This time I will apply acid color effect and place it above the rhombus shape. Actually, let's add a triangle shape to this clip instead of a cross. And also apply acid color effect. And move it up. You can play around with the settings. And one more flash effect. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you like the content and visit my store to download some cool plugins and free stuff for DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.